What I mean by the title for Dune Part 2 being an overwhelming masterpiece is the fact that the movie is like a three hour long high. Denis Villeneuve creates the sustained euphoric experience from how consistently spectacular the writing, directing, music, cinematography, and editing are. Every scene has something that melts your brain from its sheer quality, to the point that Dune Part 2 can feel very overwhelming. Even just normal dialogue scenes can be overwhelming because it can be shot in a gorgeous way, or Hans Zimmer is just absolutely ripping it for the score. Most scenes are designed to have some kind of epic moment expressed through one of these filmmaking fundamentals. And god help you when everything comes together in harmony, like in the final climax, where you just get dropkicked by the monumental euphoric rush. On one hand, having three hours of this can be pretty exhausting, and I can see why people may like the first Dune more because it's more graceful and smooth, while Dune Part 2 comes in off the top ropes with a ton of action. The pace is electric, despite being three hours, and there's really not a single thing I would cut or change. That, and unlike the first Dune, Part 2 tells a significantly larger story with a huge scope and scale the size of Baron's waistline. We're jumping around to different planets with the Emperor's homeworld, House Harkonnen's home planet that has a black sun that made for a cool creative visual language, and we're exploring the entirety of Arrakis. Despite this being pretty daunting, the world building in Part 2 is perfectly balanced to the point that it doesn't make your head spin. It gives you just enough through the environmental storytelling and small amount of exposition to understand the vast world. It really makes me want to read the book series, especially since Denis made quite a few changes apparently. But Denis in general is such a brilliant, unique, and creative artist, to the point that it makes the source material seem so alluring through his singular and meticulous rendition. I just want to fully submerge myself into this world. But going back to Dune Part 2, the story is also being told over the course of months. It makes the story feel a lot more surgical in what scenes and events they're focusing on, because every moment is crucial. And I think Denis Villeneuve perfectly fosters and curates each story thread. Like, despite the romance between Paul and Chani being pretty quick, you definitely believe it in the movie. Which is in part thanks to the great acting of Timothy and Zendaya. All Timothy has to do is stare at you, and you immediately melt, so I guess that does make things easier. But yeah, it feels weird looking back at the first movie, and it only taking place in less than a week. The ambition and storytelling for part 2 somehow makes the first movie feel so small, when initially when it originally came out, people were floored by the grandeur of Dune. The second movie basically triples down and takes everything great about the first movie and elevates it even higher. So yeah, that's my explanation for why Dune Part 2 can be overwhelming, despite it still being a masterpiece. And since it's so overwhelming, I feel like I have to see it again to really digest this massive full course meal. Especially seeing it in IMAX with a detailed and immensely depth soundscape, and Hans Zimmer's score shaking your soul. Now, for specific aspects about Dune Part 2, I can't really pin any flaws onto the movie. The only small nitpick would be me wanting more breathing room between the epic moments because the sheer amount of them can be a lot. But besides that, the cast is pure excellence. Austin Butler rockets into the film with such a devilish and unhinged villain. His acting is hands down the best in the movie, and even the design of the character perfectly aids the menacing nature of the villain. It takes a bit of time for him to come into the movie, and I wish he was able to make an even earlier entrance because of how great he was. Timothy Chalamet has a great arc and is constantly grappling with engaging themes, like using religion maliciously, the crushing weight of destiny, and the oncoming doom of war, and the consequences that brings about. Every moment shared between characters is dripping with thought-provoking conundrums that infects everyone. Then it explodes and ripples through everyone as they express their own unique perspectives. The conflict between each character because of this is outstanding. Also, there's a surprising amount of humor in the movie through Javier Bardem's character. He's such a great actor and he steals a lot of his scenes. He has this weight to his acting that comes across as effortless, and any humorful line he has lands really well. Then Paul's mom gains a massive importance within the story that both makes the world more rich and makes for an even more interesting character. It's hard to say this about most ensemble movies, but every character is integral to the story, and they're all perfectly utilized. Generally with ensembles, you can kind of pinpoint a few characters within the story that didn't matter or weren't very good. But that's definitely not the case with Dune Part 2. Everyone plays a key role in the story, and that's the benefit of adapting a great book. 
it's guaranteed that the writing is going to be stellar. Next, let's go into the action because that's by far the biggest draw for this movie, given how much of it there is. Like, I wasn't expecting the amount there would be, and every scene explodes with so much epicness that it makes you existential about how bad other movies are in comparison. I genuinely can't go back to the mediocrity of other action movies right now. The final climax in particular was on the tier of a Lord of the Rings battle, despite it technically being kind of short. But since this movie spans a long time duration, we're essentially getting the best and most interesting action plot beats, along with the movie essentially being a 3 hour sci-fi fantasy war essentially. So that's just fundamentally a dream come true for any movie fan. The only thing that comes close to this niche is Star Wars, and that IP is basically face down dead in a ditch right now. Also, I want to highlight the reason why the movie is able to operate at such a high level, and that's because of the pure talent involved. It's pretty head-spinning how for every position of this movie, you have the best or one of the best people working in the industry. Hans Zimmer takes his score even further, and in particular, I adored the love theme he created between Paul and Chani. It's somehow sincere while also being epic, and has such beautiful woodwinds that then evolves and gets more layered over the course of the song. Hans Zimmer is one of those composers in which when he releases his new score, you drop everything and listen to the entirety of it. We have Greg Fraser who's quickly becoming my favorite cinematographer, who has also done Rogue One and The Batman. Part 2 manages to be even more inventive and creative visually, and it has some very striking imagery. The opening action scene with the Eclipse in particular was basically like throwing the audience back into the deep end. It was just a perfect way to start the movie, and the stylization of the scene through the harsh orange color grade made it electrifying. Then Denis as always is just a pure mastermind, and at this point, he's one of the best directors who's ever lived. Just like the first Dune, Part 2 is essentially operating with Oscar-worthy technicals that are even better this time around. I don't know if the Academy will double dip and give them even more wins, but I wouldn't be surprised if Dune Part 2 inevitably gets a Best Picture nomination. It feels surreal that we're in real time watching another Lord of the Rings type franchise unfold in front of us, and 20 years from now we're going to be jealous of the series releasing. The only thing recently that comes close is Game of Thrones, but that basically just face planted. However, for Dune, Everyone involved is so talented and motivated with pure passion, to the point that they simply can't fail. And that combination of passion and talent is a dream come true in the film industry. Thank you for watching, and my letterbox, Patreon, and Discord links are in the description. As always, thank you to my top patron, Logan Farmer, for being amazing.